Welcome back to another video. Continuing on with EX01, we are doing search and replace. Let's do it. Write a program called search and replace that takes three arguments. The first argument is a string in which to replace a letter, second argument, by another one, a third argument. Now I took the liberty of putting letter in double quotes here because I didn't want people to getting tripped up on for example, if the second argument, like this one here, if you look at this one, the second argument is art. Three letters. So some people might think, all right, is art contained in the first string, and should I replace that entire string by the third argument, which is another string in this example? But no, it's only by a letter. So. In order for our program to actually start doing something, we have four different things we need to restrict. We have, the first one is the program name, and I'm talking about the AC now, the argument count. The first one's the program name. The second one is the first string. The third one is the letter that you're going to replace, that you're gonna search for. And the fourth one is the one you're going to do the replacing with. So for example, in this one here, this is our string and we're searching for A's and we're replacing all A's with O's. So you can see this is what it's expecting. So papoche, whatever. And it was originally this, all right? So we need uni-std because we're going to do a write and now we should say if AC equals four, and now we need to take care of the second and third, uh, these strings here. So if AV, uh, what would it be? Well, zero, one, two, I think, yes, two, Maybe two spot one, because we're thinking now in terms of the string itself, it's got to be a letter and then the null terminator. So we're checking if zero one equals the null terminator and AV three at spot, what am I doing? AV three at spot one equals the null terminator. Then we can do something. Now we need the while loop, while av1. Now we're going to check if we find the second argument within the string. If av2 equals av1, then we're going to write av, av3. And that's because, all right, we found the second char within the first char. So we're gonna take the third argument and replace it and we're gonna write it out instead of the first one. Else, now here's where we say it otherwise. Else, we're just going to write AV1. Now we need to iterate the AV one and oops, screw that one up. One, one, like that. All right, let's give it a test. And this is search and replace and A that out. Let's try just simple ABC. We're looking, let's just try now um, something like this. That's good. It didn't do anything. Oh, sorry, I forgot something. We have to write a new line. A new line when it satisfies the argument, if the argument is not three and the second argument is not contained in the first one. So we're writing a new line in every instance. So down here, if it doesn't even make it in there, we're writing a new line. There. 
Now let's do that again. Now that gives us our new line. Now let's say, let's find the letter C and replace it with D. There you go. Okay, now let's check these up here. Get it out like this. And we'll just copy this. That looks correct. We've already checked this one. Of course, this one should work now too. Zaz with the money sign, yes. This one won't work because we could just do something like this. Give it another extra argument, shouldn't do anything, correct. Now let's just take this longer one. There we go. And that looks good. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. If you did, consider subscribing. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.